Good day and welcome to Big Bad Tech. I'm your instructor, Jim Pytel. Today we're gonna to have a quick lesson on how to use a knockout punch. A knockout punch is a handy manual tool used to punch holes in electrical cabinets. These holes can be used to route conduit carrying electrical cables or be used to install push buttons or other input devices. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm gonna be using the Greenlee 723 8SB Slugbuster Knockout Punch Set with a ratcheting wrench. This does not constitute an advertisement or endorsement of this particular manufacturer or this particular set. Keep in mind other sets and other manufacturers might have different parts or procedures. As a safety precaution, make sure you're not punching holes through enclosures containing or close to live electrical circuits. Additionally, once you've completed a punch, watch out because the completed punch unit can fall free from the die side. Before you use a knockout punch set, make sure you're aware of that particular punch's capacity. In this case, this set can punch holes through 10 gauge mild steel. Additionally, lubricate the threads and cutting edges of your punch before use. This particular set contains a ratcheting one inch box end wrench, a 3 8 inch draw stud, as well as a larger 3 quarter inch draw stud. It contains a half inch conduit punch, as well as a half inch conduit die. This is the only combination in this particular set that uses a 3 8 inch draw stud. All the rest of them use the 3 quarter inch draw stud. Stepping up, we've got a 3 quarter inch conduit punch and die, a 1 inch conduit punch and die, a 1 and a quarter inch conduit punch and die, a 1 and a half inch conduit punch and die, finally a 2 inch conduit punch and die. We're going to use the half inch conduit punch and die with a 3 8 inch draw stud, as well as the 1 inch conduit punch and die with a 3 quarter inch draw stud to ultimately make a 1 inch hole through which we can route some USB cables into an electrical cabinet. In this case, the only purpose of the half inch conduit punch and die is to save ourselves some time to make a pilot hole through which we can use our three quarter inch draw stud and the one inch conduit punch and die. This allows us to use a smaller drill bit for the pilot hole. In this case, I'm using a regular drill bit. However, one could use a pilot step drill. Now I'm gonna place the half inch conduit die on the three eighths inch draw stud. I'm going to insert the draw stud through the pilot hole, then I'll thread the punch on the draw stud with a cutting edge pressed up against the back of the cabinet. Now I'll go ahead and turn the draw stud using the ratcheting a wrench until the material is punched. Remember when you're ratcheting this the punch could fall free of the hole. Now I can disassemble the punch and drop out the split slugs. Now I'm going to go ahead and assemble the one inch conduit die onto the three quarter inch draw stud and place the punch on the back side with a cutting edge towards the material. Now I'll go ahead and tighten with a ratcheting wrench and on the back side we can actually see the punch scribing a progressively deeper circle with the cutting edges as the draw stud is tightened. Once the material is punched through we can remove the punch unit and disassemble the punch unit and drop out the split slugs. Now you can go ahead and insert your trim ring, push button, or conduit. This concludes this brief lecture on how to use a manual knockout punch.